welcome Aquarians. This is the month of February. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. This month of February, um, we begin the month of February with a cycle is over for an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. Whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, this is a man. Um, this man is uh, 50 years and older, whoever this man is and whatever this man have done. Um, something is going to be coming out. So it could be some sort of an issue, problem that you men 50 years and older was having or men on a whole was having and a cycle is going to be over for this person, okay? Because they recognize some sort of an unexpe um, unex unexpected situation, um, some sort of a play that someone was trying to create that sort of a situation. And what we see is a cycle is now um, over for this man. This man is uh, um, 50 years and older or a man on a whole, some sort of a cycle is going to be over for men on a whole. All right. What we have here is that your burden is over. Whatever issues and problems some of you were having with some sort of a relationship, the burden is now over. People are recognizing um, that people were having their power and using their powers in the wrong way. So whatever is transpiring, your burdens are going to be over Aquarian. And I see a lot of you could be having some sort of a problem with a child where a child could be sick or that sort of a situation, but they are going to be overcoming this. So this is good. As you recognize your burdens is all over. Aquarian, all of your energies are in the reverse. Some is it good? This is good. Um, when the Three of Swords is in reverse, um, information is coming out that people were not aware of. Um, the Five of Cups is in reverse, so you're not regretting. Um, you have moved forward. A lot of you are thinking about the past. Um, the Six of Pentacles is here where some of you overcome some sort of a on um, desirable play that was going on and people are now recognizing that people have been using um, their strength to get some sort of a situation their way and now people are recognizing what was happening so here we go first week is a positive week is a very lucky week and it depends on how you guys um, um you know your frequency is but it's a very lucky week um this month you start the energy of the wheel of fortune then we see some sort of a new story that is coming up then we recognize the hangman energy and then we see the energy of the chariot that you have victoriously successfully overcoming some sort of an obstacle challenges that was placed in your world this month is going to be releasing you so you see the energy of the burden is over and uh, um, some sort of a situation with kids, okay? So not to worry about this. Some of you are going to be recognizing um, that um, someone could be coming in or someone was the, from the past was your soulmate. So a lot of you are going to be recognizing that. So we have fire in the first week, which is good. Um, this is luck um, could be coming up for some of you Aquarian. Then in the second week, we have the energy of the fool, whatever that was happening and transpiring this energy of the fool is good because it's an air sign for you guys. So the second week for you Aquarians is going to be good. Third week is an angman energy of the water. And um, this angman energy of the water in the third week uh, is going to be showing up something about a child, um, some sort of information about a child. And you're going to be recognizing that. As we look at the fourth week, you have a fire energy. So you begin with fire, you end with fire, but you're big, um, ending this month in a victoriously successful situation. And this is going to be good. So wonderful, wonderful alignment of energies. So Aquarian, let's go deeper in this reading. So the Wheel of Fortune is coming in you know, um, in the first week, and some of you had expected something, but for men, um, this whatever you were hoping for is not going to be happening. So, men, some sort of an unexpected thing that you were hoping for is not going to be happening because of some sort of an information that comes out, and now people are recognizing some information that some of you men had kept behind. So, it's as if some of you men were hoping for um some situation to come out they recognize that the situation is not going to be happening because they recognize that there was some sort of information that you may know 
have kept back and now they're recognizing that there was some sort of a foul play that was happening and that has transpired. So um, we have the energy and as we look at your energies at the end of the reading, you will have um, your uh, what to have, uh, expect um, to come in because people are going to be recognizing a whole lot that was not been said, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is ending burdensome situations, burdensome situation from the past. The Wheel of Fortune comes in in the first week and releasing a whole lot of views from past issues and burdens that you were, um, um, you know, working with from the past. And this is going to be good. In the second week, I see a new start is coming up. And even though some of you, um, for women, your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true. But for men, it's not going to be coming true because of some sort of information that comes out. A new start is here. Some of you who was uh, trying to adopt a child, some sort of information is going to be coming in. Some of you are going to, who has fertility problems, some sort of a recognition. For some of you who have issues with a child, I see help is going to be coming in for you and this child. So this is going to be good. A lot of you are going to be having a new start because they recognize that issues and problems was placed on you. The energy of the five of cups is that some of you are having a new start, leaving some sort of an unwanted situation behind and moving forward, having no regrets doing that. And this is going to be powerful for you guys. Then we recognize in the third week, a water week, an emotional week. You're emotional because um, some sort of information came out that ended your burdens. Um, someone was keeping some sort of a secrets because go back and li listen to the general reading of this month. Someone was keeping some sort of a secrets. These secrets are now out. People are recognizing some sort of unfair games that was played. So um, whatever the secrets is and was, if you're recognize where this is if this is uh, uh, where the light has been shed because you were waiting light has been shed go back and look at the general reading and the burden is now over because here was the energy of the eye princess the eye princess tell and let out information that was happening that was transpiring and now people are recognizing that there was some sort of a foul play and that was transpiring the heartbreaks is going to be over and i see um, whatever heartbreaks that some of you had with a child or um, eh, to, to have some sort of a connection with a child or that sort of a thing, heartbreaks with a child from the past, childhood trauma, tra childhood situation that was transpiring, then you're now recognizing exactly what was happening and transpiring and this is going to be good. So this is what I said to a lot of you. Reverse cards can be very, very positive. Okay. I read upright and reverse and reverse cards are being very positive at this time because, um, it's as if you're recognizing some sort of a situation that was happening and was transpiring and you're now releasing this and whatever it is with a child and whatever problems that was created with a child and that sort of a, uh, situation is going to be recognized and it's going to be people are going to be recognizing and seeing what was happening and what was transpiring then as we move to the first week victory and success you end the month on a positive note um some of you are going to be recognizing that someone from the past was your soulmate or twin flame um you are going to be um you know you re you're you don't have any regrets because now you're recognizing that this love from the past, whoever this person is and was, uh, is connected to you even though you are no longer with this person. This person is connected with you and this person have your back and this is going to be absolutely wonderful, absolutely positive because uh, um, you are going to be recognizing how very important it is so in order to balance out some sort of an emotional situation because some sort of an information came out because people are now recognizing what was happening and what was transpiring. So this is good. So a lot of you are going to be victoriously successful over some sort of a heartbreak from a soulmate. Um, here you have double whammy, um, the six of abundancy and the six of abundancy. So double whammy, that is absolutely good a whole lot of you you can expect uh, some sort of a financial help uh, 
to come in um some sort of uh um, help from other people is going to be coming in people are going to be recognizing a lot of you are going to be meeting your soulmates this is going to be good so what we're recognizing is that some of you men at hope and wish for something it's not going to be happening the burden is going to be over a lot of you women with kids this is um um, the heartbreaks that you have with some sort of a situation with your kid is going to be over. People are now understanding and recognizing what was going on. And then we see the energy of the Ten of Swords in the reverse. This is good because truth is coming out about some sort of a on a dishonest situation that was played, and um, and 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 this have uh, emotionally. Uh, effects on you Aquarians and you're recognizing this and then we see the energy of the eight of cups and the eight of cups is that a lot of you are are looking back on some sort of an emotional situation where um, a lover or someone could have hurt you or some sort of information came out that um, a lot of you were not aware of and you are standing your ground and recognizing what has been happening and what has been transpiring. The Six of Pentacles is here and I see help is going to be coming in, especially um, if some of you were really, really having some sort of issues, dealing with some sort of a situation, help is definitely going to be coming in. There is going to be Earth Angels that is coming in and is supporting a lot of you. Your last and final card, and this is the most beautiful card. I use this deck only um, for Christmas and Valentine. So it's a six of abundance. Heaven opens its love and harms and pure abundance onto you. An unexpected gift is on its way. Accept it with gratitude and humanity, knowing that you will have a chance to return to generosity by giving to others in the future. Consider volunteering for charity organizations. This is going to be good. So money is not going to be a problem. Go listen to um, your reading because money is really, really not going to be a, pro a problem for a lot of you. A lot of you are going to be recognizing um, this, that you're going to be overcoming whatever financial um, situation you have. Help is going to be coming in for a whole lot of you. So just stand back, um, feel the energies, work with the energies and understand that you will be okay. And not to worry about whatever financial problems or issues that will come up because you are going to be very, very stability in this month of uh, February. It is also your month. So happy birthday to the Aquarians who were born in uh, February. I do love you guys. I gotta go. But as usual, please like and share these videos. I am saying namaste until next time.